Hello, Doc. Howdy doody. How's it going? And then K, hello. Bay, hello. Cody, hello. Colin, hello. Vibe Jag, exclamation mark, vibe in the chat if we're vibing. Are we vibing? I hope we're vibing. I'm vibing. How are you doing? I am doing just okay. But that's okay. But that's okay. Hopefully we'll be doing better soon. Um, so, here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. Here's what is it going on. Um, Lexi's vibing. Let's go. Let's go, Mr. Streamzek. I'm, I'm both glad to hear it, and I'm sorry for making you Zach, have to wait stop. around. Zach, um, stop. You're gonna get in trouble. Hey, think of the host. Uh, I've got a new chat box. Even, what's going on? PP, what's up, Knight? I've got a new chat box, so the bot's showing up in the chat box at the moment. I'm going to have to fix that soon. That's okay, though. We'll get that sorted. Long story short, things are a little bit, a little, a little bit scuffed at the moment. It'll be fixed soon. Um, in fact, that's part of the reason why I'm not on camera yet. I'm still fixing some things, so don't worry. Um, I just need to make it to where, for example, my music's playing on the right track. Uh, which is not happening at the moment. The music is actually playing on the wrong Zach, stop. thing, but that's okay. Zach, stop. I think of the host. Get in trouble. Zach. Thank you, thank you. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the music off. And then I'm going to do a thing that should theoretically fix it. So here goes the music. Music's gone now. Uh-oh. Bye-bye music. No more music. Oh, would you rather have all music, music, all the time, music, but no music, or or music? There we go. Music is el fixoed. So now you should be able to hear music like before. The only difference is now it's playing on the right track. So, anyway, I'm not going to get in trouble. You're going to get in trouble. Yeah, stop it. You stop it on that. Arr, arr. Hypers. So, yeah. um, Yeah, I've got a little bit of a surprise for you guys, kind of. I mean, it's not a huge surprise. It's just, it's a little interesting, perhaps, mayhaps. We do a little trolling, you know what they say. Um, okay. <laughs> so, what I did was I moved my setup. I moved my setup, so things are a little bit broken just because basically I had to rehook my setup together, and for those of you that don't know, my setup is incredibly complicated. Um, and so making sure that everything is working before going live is a bit difficult. Um, I did a pretty good job. I made sure that everything that was absolutely necessary that I had to fix before the stream started was fixed. Um, however, there were a few things, like the music playing on the wrong track, um, that just were not fixed. And it's fixed now, so no big deal. There might be a few other things that I'm not aware of just yet, um, but we'll figure that out as we go. So if you guys notice anything, don't be afraid to tell me. Oh, speaking of which, I actually noticed one thing just now myself already. There we go. Okay. Um, my camera, my webcam camera is not working or hooked up and working, one or the other. I'm not really sure which, but anyway. It doesn't matter too much. It's not absolutely pertinent to the stream working. Um, but yeah. Sorry to interpret your thoughts, but here is some money. Sorry to interpret your thoughts, but here is some money. Bay, thank you for the 500 bits. Welcome back. Hello, Tremella. Interpret my thoughts. What are you doing interpreting my thoughts? It's not allowed. You're not allowed to interpret my thoughts. Dude. Dude. You're not allowed to interpret my thoughts, dude. <laughs> Alright. There we go. There we go. I think that that's better. Let me... I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Sorry. Just trying to fix some things on my end here still. Let's just make sure everything's absolutely correct. Anatomy Live and Zacko's stream was just what I needed. What's up, Felix? What's going on? Alright. I will be with you guys Zach, very, stop. very shortly. Zach, Rachel, thank stop. you so much for the You're host. I appreciate trouble, it. Heckin' Rachel. All right. Give me just, just a teeny, Zach, tiny, Tremella, Zach, stop. teeny, tiny trouble, little Zach. bit more um, time.
time. Just a teeny tiny little bit. Um, then we'll be good. And then we'll be good. And then we'll be good. All right. All right. Zach, stop. Zach, stop. Cody. You're gonna get in trouble. Thank you so much Zach. for the host. Appreciate you. All right. Un momento. U-W-U, Zaku. Dude, yes! Words that make you emotional or some shit IDK never watch the book. Zach, stop. Zach, stop. You're gonna get in trouble. Zach. Yo, quick check. Anyone know where my phone is, bro? Where's my phone at? Uh, Felix, thank you so much for the host. Um, NNK, thank you so much for the tier one for three months. Thank you guys for starting a hype train. BT Pound, thank you for the two months with the Prime. I appreciate you. All right. One moment. Zach, stop. Zach, stop. You're gonna get in trouble. Zach. Appreciate that, babe. I think I probably left it out in the kitchen. One second. All right, I found it. Let's go. Minute 30 left on the hype train. Pog champ. Pog champ moment. All right, I'm going to put on some hype music here now in just a second. Um, had some chill music on just because I needed some copyright free shit since I had everything kind of 
disorganized one to make sure I didn't get like a DMCA strike on my first stream back. That would have sucked. But we're good now. By the way, I think my camera, my web camera, the webcam is just broken. Just absolutely broken. So, um, yeah, that sucks. But that's okay. Um, so, we're not going to have any room cam for a little while, but that's okay. Yo! Zach Cobot, Zach thank Cobot. you so much for the Twitch Prime for three years completing the level one hype train. Thanks so much, Zach Cobot. Zach Cobot saying Zach Cobot so true, Zach Cobot. He's fucking nuts, He's dude. Fucking nuts. Oh my god, so true. So true. I haven't heard anything more true in my whole life. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. Who's ready? <laughs> what is corn cobs and why do I have so many? Um, I don't know, man. I feel great to be back. What's up, Brutal Turtles? Bay, you be collecting badges here. Let's go. 1k bit badge. That gives you Zacko Lol. You have a new emote now. All right. What are Z what are corn cobs? Um, corn cobs are essentially just a thing back in the day for those of you that don't know there was no such thing as channel points and so you had to do it yourself through through bots and shit basically my bot gives you corn cobs they're just they're the old channel points they are defunct and they don't mean anything anymore it's the show where there are no rules and the points don't matter Vibe check, clumsy. Zach, Vibe stop. check. Hey, yo. Zach, By the way, can stop. one of the mods do me a huge, huge favor Zach. if you haven't already and make an announcement in the live channel for me and let everyone know that I'm live? That would be super, super sick. I would appreciate it if you do that. That would be so cool. Thanks so much. Um, all right. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Clumsy, thank you for the host. Thank you, thank you. That's why I have so many. They were universal, too. Yeah. Hey yo! What's going on, guys? Hey, it's me, the guy. It's the guy, the guy with the with the. It's the guy. What? What's up, Matt? How you doing? Um. Door. 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 Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Oh, I forgot that that does that. Okay. <laughs> god damn it. Okay. Real quick. Real quick. Let me explain this. I put that overlay back on because I thought that it might b what allows people to transfer their hours between account names when they change their name on twitch because sometimes when people change their name on twitch they lose all their hours with my bot and my bot goes through Streamlabs, and i realized i think the moment that it stopped working was when i took the overlay off and so i put the overlay on to see if it would help to be able to get people's like stuff to roll over essentially however None of those points do anything, all right? I do not do any of the things that are on that overlay. So the overlay is old and defunct, okay? I don't, I do not do those anymore. Um, those were like a year one, year two, season one, season two, Zacco thing. Uh, let me go into the extensions and um, see if I can customize whatever rewards are on that thing. So that it stops doing that. Um, how do I how do I do that, dude? I don't want to do this anymore. Come on, man. All right, nobody went out. Thank you so much, Bay. What's up, Ken? Shout out is for a guy named Zeko. Oh, thanks, Anthony. Okay, what episode is this? That's a good question, Ryan. Anonymous. Thank you for the tier one. To Mel. Hey yo, Poggers Champion Nation. Mel's cool people. Um, what's up, Undead Gaben? If I, I didn't say that already, can we talk about how, as a society, don't talk about Anthony Padilla's verse and ERB's artist versus Turtles battle nearly enough? Hmm. 
for sure we can talk about that i think that's a societal thing that we should be talking about um okay i switched my setup around a little bit if you guys haven't noticed um basically all i did was i took my setup from over here and i pushed it over here <laughs> long story short this was all over there and now it's all right here why did i do that you might be asking well i felt like it um i just felt like it i guess i don't know i don't know um i mean why not okay so the real reason why did i really move my <laughs> my setup the real reason i moved my setup was for a couple different reasons one i wanted to have it to where the window was in front of me so i could use it as natural lighting during the day and kind of get my dopamine going properly by getting natural sunlight i thought that was probably important to be able to see natural sunlight um secondarily my room is incredibly small um it feels way smaller than it is too when the setup was where it was because basically my bed is right here you guys can actually kind of see it still uh, but my bed's right there, and no matter what way I orientate the bed, orient, orient, no matter which way I orient the bed, the room feels small. So you might be wondering, well, there's the same amount of space in the room when you move the desk. How could it feel bigger? How could it feel any bigger? And that's a good question. What's a fish? Um, how could it feel any bigger? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One is because I used to have my light that's right here. Um, on a light stand next to my desk now it's kind of shoved into the corner which makes it feel like like there's not an extra thing to the left of my desk first of all that's like an actual real space saving trick that i'm doing um but secondarily is because all of the space in my room is consolidated into one big area ryan thank you so much for the prime for 16 months i really appreciate that um but yeah ba basically all the room is just like consolidated into one big area and so now if I stand up I can walk all the way over here what that's crazy what I can walk over here no way that guy can walk all the way over there now that's nuts that's crazy so that's one thing What's the other thing? What's the other thing? How else does this setup make the room feel bigger? Well, gray sweatpants season. Yeah, I got two pairs of sweatpants and a couple workout shirts, which I'm super hyped about. Revolutionary. Um, we don't see the kitties on the bed. I know, I know. <laughs> um, I'm getting that sorted. But, oh, here's another reason. Okay, so before, my door, right? My door opens to right here, right? So if I do this... You can see the door opens to right there, right on the trash can. It's just barely out of the way. Um, what I realized with my setup being over here is now I have the wall where my setup used to be to put the trash can in the laundry basket, which makes it so that this little sliver of room in front of my bed doesn't feel so cramped. And also I have plenty of room to, um, to just walk around in my room, basically. Um, and then I can have my trash can right next to my setup and all that. And long story short, it's just like a whole lot of feng shui stuff. You know what I mean? Basically just moving things around in such a way that it feels more roomy and feels a little bit nicer to exist in. And so that was the only reason. Functionally, it's exactly the same. Now, there are a couple unfortunate caveats to this setup that I'm not a huge fan of. Um, one, you know, if my cats are on the bed, they are not visible. And that's, well, that's not amazing. Uh, you guys like cats? I like cats. I would like to see the cats when they're on the bed. Okay, the second thing, the second big caveat is my colored lamp and my colored light panel are both over there. Both made my room look really cool and colorful when I was over here and now you can't see them so that's an unfortunate thing as well so I'm, I'm basically struggling with this thought process right now of my room looks bigger 
and it feels bigger, which makes it feel overall nice. Oh, Kibby, what you doing, Bubby? Which makes it feel nice overall, but the background looks a lot more plain and less exciting on camera. So, yeah, I, it's like, do I want to please your eye or my own comfort levels more? That's the struggle I have right now, basically. And so it's like, well, I don't know what to do about that. Yes, kitties right here. I got my cats back uh, from being at Brits, so I've got them back now. Deku just ran up in my chair, but yeah. Because you won't show them anymore. It's not that I won't show them. I'm happy to show them. They just won't show themselves. I'm going to have to, like, move the camera or pick them up or whatever. Hey, kitty. He's, oh, yeah. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to show the cats now <laughs> with this current setup. But we'll see. I'm just working with it. Now, 